history talk about this weapon here and how they're going to use it. Then we're going to do a little go over a few safety procedures. Then we're actually going to fire it. Now, the weapon that we have here is what they're going to refer to as a Portuguese swivel gun. Disable the swivel in place. Very useful for putting on the rail of the ship, which is another name that they'll have for it. It's a rail gun. Unlike most guns of the time, this is a breech loader, so you're going to load it from the back of the weapon. You're able to fire this one maybe two to three minutes. There's various different types of shots that they will have. It's going to be round shot. This is very simple. It's a solid piece of iron. All it's using is momentum and speed in order to punch holes in things. So unlike the movies, if it hits something, it ain't going to explode. Gonna pass this around. Just be careful, don't drop this on your toes. It would hurt a lot. Now that's going to be very good for sinking a ship. But let's say you don't want to sink a ship. Say you want to capture it, or if you're one of our merchantmen here, you're trying to run away. If that's the case. You're going to use this. This is what they're going to call bar shot. When this comes out of the weapon, it's going to start spinning around. It's going to be aimed up above the ship at all the ropes. It's going to be cutting those, put holes in the sails. It's going to be used to slow the ship down. I'm going to pass this one around as well. Start over here. Now, a slightly better version of that is what they're going to call chain shot. This one is flexible, so if it hits something solid, such as, say, a yard arm, that's the piece that's actually holding the sail. Whereas the bar shot would just bounce right off of that. This will wrap around that and break it off. If you have one that's large enough, which quite obviously this one is not large enough, you can take out a mask with one shot. Now, when it passes around, please take care to hold it from either end. This can pinch your fingers. Now, let's say those pirates have been finding that bar shot and chain shot, turning down our rigging. They're about to board us. This is going to be our last line of defense. This is filled with, this one in particular is filled with three pounds of nails. This is probably the shot that you're going to be finding most commonly out of this one. It's going to probably be about one pound rather than three. Now, you can put just about anything in this. So either we're talking about rocks, flint shards, anything that will hurt people. So what you're going to do is you're going to load this into the weapon, point at all those pirates that are about to swarm over your ship, fire it, make them fall down and start screaming, ouch, that hurt. With luck, that will make the rest of them think, you know, this is a bad idea, let's get out of here. If not, just keep firing this and that will make them all go away. Now, safety. Y'all brought earplugs, right? No. No? Yes, you did. These right here. You're going to take your hands, put them with the palms over your ears. Do not poke your fingers in. That will not help. By putting your palms of your hands over your ears, you're actually preventing pressure. Yeah, you do. Another thing that will help will be to open up your mouth at the same time. Let's all try that. I like this, hey. Open your mouth. Open your ears. Now, it does look a little goofy, but it works. Now, if you have little children who can't cover their ears themselves, parents, cover their ears, open your mouth. It will help. We're going to have our hands busy, so we'll be using earplugs. All right. Now, order the piece to load. What my assistant here is doing is he's checking over the piece, making sure that there's nothing wrong with it. And if there isn't, he's going to respond back. All right. Handle the charge. At this point, he's going to walk over to the mug, 35-pound piece of metal that contains the actual charge, and he's going to pick it up. Advance the charge. He's going to take it over to the gun. Charge the piece. 
Now he's actually going to put it inside of the weapon itself. He's then going to put a iron pit uh, wedge in behind it to prevent the mug from jumping up after it's been fired. Pick and prime. At this point, he's going to take this brass pick here and he's going to open up a hole down to the powder that's in the bag inside of the mug. He's then going to take a small priming charge and make a little anthill on top of that, thus creating a type of fuse. Next command is to gauge the piece or aim. All right. Now is when you're going to want to cover your ears, folks. Hey, Volcano! 